Welcome back to Heroes on Our Island. I'm your host, Christine Persichetti. We're in Jericho, where Pure Later International is hosting a huge food drive here at its company headquarters. All of the food collected from the building's tenants will be loaded up onto two trucks the company is donating to Long Island Cares, all to put a dent into the hunger problem here on the island. They work hard for the company and for the community. Employees of this international shipping company delivering on their promise to help feed the hungry. There's boxes put in each of the lobbies, the elevator lobbies of the two buildings, where we're asking all of the companies and all the employees of the companies to donate food. And donate they did. This food drive, organized by Pure Later International at its Jericho headquarters, collected more than 1,900 pounds of food, which we're told equates to about 1,600 meals. We have to take care of our people, our community, and, and right in our backyard. There are plenty of people that actually are in need of food. But the donation didn't end there. All of this food has to get to where it's going. And since they're in the business of transporting goods, Purolator also donated two trucks to Long Island Cares, the regional food bank for Long Island. John Costanzo, the president of the company, says he was approached by the CEO of the food bank who asked for his help. Can you give us a truck? He said, we need a truck. Our truck's on its last legs and we're delivering to the food banks here on Long Island. We could use some help. And I said, you know, I think we might be able to help with that. Let me, let me look into it. He said, well, since you're going to look into it, how about two trucks? Well, the timing worked out perfectly. John says they were just refreshing their fleet and had extra vehicles. Then Elodie Cohen, who works in the company's IT department and heads up Pure Later Gives Back, planned the food drive. One way or another, those trucks will be filled. That's the whole point, right? An empty truck doesn't do any good, so we try to feed the community. So let's, uh, let's try to aim for filling them up to the top and, and then some. She says they got a great response from everyone. We can all think about what's going on in the world, but let's try to start with our backyard. And Long Island, unfortunately, has plenty of people that do not eat to, you know, the fullest every single day. So that's why we're doing this. In fact, right now, Long Island Cares is supporting more than 316,000 Long Islanders who are hungry. It's becoming chronic. You know, for the last two, three years, we've been looking at the same 300,000 or more people. And, you know, the economy is still having a tremendous negative impact upon families trying to make it here in the region. About 20% of all of the food they distribute from this Hop Hop warehouse comes from company food drives. From here, it's delivered to about 600 community-based organizations, including child care centers, soup kitchens, and pantries. A chronic problem that, you know, went from providing emergency food on a weekly basis to providing uh, food as if you were a local supermarket. The pantries are really supporting families uh, almost on a daily basis now. Paul Pachter, CEO of Long Island Cares, says 70,000 children on the island are hungry. One of these donated trucks is going to help feed them. He plans to use it as a food truck. A mobile food truck to go out to disadvantaged communities where children are in need and provide them with a healthy breakfast right off the truck. This would be the first of its kind food truck used to deliver free meals on Long Island. Now they're looking for funding to help renovate the interior of the truck. The other truck will become part of Long Island Care's store donation pickup program. We are currently working with over 50 local corporations, Target, Walmart, uh, Ocean State Job Lots, BJ's Wholesale Club, and every day our trucks go out to their stores and pick up donations of both perishable and non-perishable food. Each of these 14-foot trucks would have cost Long Island Cares 80 grand if they had to buy them. And now they act as moving billboards, which will hopefully drive home some more donations. Hopefully, as other businesses and corporations see the truck, they'll realize that there's a role for them as well if they want to partner with Long Island Cares. John says the donation was a no-brainer since combating hunger is a key initiative for the company and they've helped out Long Island Cares in the past. I think they do such a great job uh, in, in helping people that need, uh, need help here and assistance on the island, not only for folks that, uh, for families, but for veterans, for other groups. We thought it was terrific uh, alignment with our mission. You'll often find Purolator employees here at the warehouse on their own time or on company time. I think the company does a great job at, at giving back to the community. Um, I think it's one of the main points that actually makes people want to come and work with us. 
Um, the company does a lot for the community and also allows time, uh, company time, to give back to the community, which I think is unique. John says Purolator International wouldn't be able to operate here on Long Island without the support of the community. So giving back is important to him. It feels great for me. My wife and I have raised three kids here on Long Island. We've benefited greatly from Long Island, uh, both from a professional, personal perspective. So to be able to give back to the community we've lived in, uh, and raised our family in for the last 30 years is a pretty good feeling. One of our core values, I think, is teamwork. Um, as a company, we work together. Um, so to work together for a um, community cause is great. Um, we're able to do something that's bigger and better than us as individuals. Throughout the year, Purolator employees volunteer their time at Long Island Care's headquarters to help sort all of the donated food. If you'd like to learn more about the heroes we just featured or if you know a hero in your community, let us know. Visit our website at Fios1NewsLI.com. Follow us on Twitter at HeroesLI and like us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Heroes Long Island. I'm Christine Persichetti. Thanks for watching Heroes on our Island.